Hey and welcome to a tutorial. This is Bronchitis91 saying hello to YouTube. Alright, well, um, we're going to be doing a tutorial on Photoshop. And uh, Photoshop is a great tool to enhance your photographs or starting with a blank page and being just creative with it. But Photoshop's main purpose really is to enhance and manipulate photographs. And it just gets easier and easier as new stuff comes out. I am a big fan of Adobe so that's what I'm going to use today. We are going to use Photoshop Elements 6 but with all Adobe Elements and Photoshop's the basics are pretty much the same. So if you want to follow along now would be a good time to open your Photoshop. If you're a big note taker, I got you covered. Check in the description and I have this video in text format. Okay, let's get started. Alright, enough chit chat, let's get on to Photoshop. Alright, of course, we're in Photoshop Elements. And um, one other thing that you may be looking at this and you may be thinking, but it doesn't look like my Photoshop. My Photoshop doesn't have these weird green and yellow and red lights on here and it doesn't have this up here well that's because I'm using a Mac um, I promise you I will get the uh, the hotkeys and everything like that for um, the PC so you can have that um, and if, for, for your use but besides the hotkeys it's really not that much different in um, a Mac and a PC. Alright, well, let's just go through all the tools. Alright, we have the move tool. The move tool is what it implies. You can resize it and uh, resize the photograph and see how it gives you all these lines around here. You can stretch it and all that kind of stuff. And uh, you can even click on that you can bring this one in make him look like he's stretching that way pretty cool stuff for the move tool but the move tool is a pretty basic tool um, but yet another tool that can just be used for a great in photo enhancement and you can just explore that tool even more I ain't got that much time with this video alright the zoom tool pretty much what it implies um, the zoom tool can be activated with the Z key and you can zoom in on your photographs just by clicking in your photograph and then if you want to zoom out but you want it you don't want to zoom out too much you can just hit the minus button and you can zoom out also right here you can change where you zoom in the distance and it gives you the percentage of that you're zooming in so you can hit print size and it'll show you the print size of what this will look like when it prints out the size of it or you can just hit fit on screen and it'll fit to your screen and fit to your working space right in here alright so the hand tool the hand tool allows you say you're zoomed in on there well say you're zoomed in on on your photograph you can use your move tool your hand tool to move around the photograph and also you can activate this, like say you're on the um, the the move tool. You just hit spacebar and you just click and you can move it, just like that. Easy enough. All right, the eyedropper tool. If you want to grab colors from something, you can just click anywhere in the photograph and it pulls the color that you're getting it from over here into this color box. You see? All right. Now the marquee tool. The marquee tool, you have a rectangle and an elliptical tool, and it just helps you make a selection. Let's see, I mean that's pretty basic as it gets, and you can change the feather and all that kind of stuff, and I'll let you play around with that one. Pretty basic stuff. All right. Now the lasso tool. We have the lasso tool. We have the magnetic lasso tool, and we have the pull polygonal lasso tool um, so <laughs> so the 
magnetic one, you can just click on it and it sticks to wherever you want it to go. Um, it's not the greatest, but it's just for quick. See? Alright, so the magic wand tool. If there's like a space somewhere in there that you want to select just that space and it's all the same color and same thing usually you can select it just by going to the magic wand tool and clicking it and see how it just selected the area that is black and we can take that and we can move the selection but we're not gonna do that we're not gonna do that at all alright so another one is and see when uh, the, the magic wand tool the wand tool is W I'll, I'll put all these hotkeys up for you on the description alright the quick selection tool just allows you to make a quick selection of the areas and just pretty basic like that I mean doesn't get any more basic than that and it just selects an area and that's it alright now, that's it too. Selection brush tool, but they're they're generally the same thing. All right. Now the type tool. You know exactly what a type tool is. You can just put it somewhere in the photograph, and you can type something. And usually, I don't understand why the type tool takes so long to come up on Photoshop, but it does. You see, there you go. Hi. Alright, so that's how it's done with the type tool. And uh, let's see. Alright, we got the crop tool. The crop tool, you can just take an area and crop it out. Just like that. Alright. Let's move back here. Alright, the uh, band aid tool. The band aid tool is. If there's something bad in your photograph that you just want to take out, which there's really nothing in this photograph that I want to take out, but we'll just say we want to take out the leg. And it's showing us what we're selecting. And it takes it out. Um, it doesn't look the greatest, and you can fix it up, and it takes some time. But say you've got a stick in your yard that you want to have taken out of a photograph, you just go ahead and hit that. All right. All right. The other tool, clone tool. The clone tool is say you want to do the same thing that you did with the band aid, but you still want to take out that area, but your band aid tool is not just working right. All right. So you just hit Alt or the Option key on a Mac. Just click there and then it takes the area that's up here and brings it down to here copies it exactly see how it's doing that all right okay the eraser tool pretty self-explanatory erases stuff all right the paint tool pretty self-explanatory that's what it says alright the paint bucket same thing self-explanatory paints the area and then the gradient tool does that um, the blur tool blur stuff just like that alright um, and then the sharpen tool does the opposite of the blur tool who would have thought and then the smudge tool, you just take it and you smudge stuff. Make it look like goo. Alright, and then the dodge tool. The dodge tool is an interesting tool. And all it is is, if you want to take out some shadows, or some color out of something, brighten something up, just take the dodge tool to it. The dodge tool takes that stuff out and makes it that much greater. And see, I just took most of the shadowing out from underneath the lizard's chin. 
Now that's pretty some that's going to be something that's pretty useful in a photograph for basic users that they've never really used in a photograph. But uh, I'll let you play around with that one. Um, the sponge tool. You can saturate a photograph, or you can desaturate a photograph, just like that. All right. Um, that's a, the tutorial on the basics of Photoshop elements, and uh, I'll do one on Photoshop itself, and uh, please subscribe, and rate, and check out my partner, partner's videos. Alright, talk to y'all later. See ya.